video, we're going to show you how to uh, manage your networks within FCS Networker. Um, you'll see the network options on the side here, and you have the option of blog networks and social networks. Once again, just like as in with the accounts, they are the same uh, pages, but just one deals with blog networks, one deals with your social networks. So uh, when you load it up, you'll see your networks, and it'll show you how many accounts are in each network here. You'll uh, be able to create uh, if I wanted to create a new network, a uh, new network, just create a new network, and then it is added. So, you see new network there. Uh, you could search. Um, we have a cool feature where you could add, uh, so let's say I wanted to add trading one to all of the accounts from trading one to trading two. So you'd add network accounts to network. They ask which network I want to add these accounts to. And then we'll wait for it to just add those accounts. And then you'll see now Trading2 has added all of the accounts from uh, Trading1. Since uh, FCS allows accounts to be in multiple networks, um, most of the account management is copying. So if you wanted to get rid of trading one, just delete trading one after uh, you do that copy to trading two. But um, add network accounts to network is basically bulk adding accounts from one network to another uh, quickly and easily. And you could do it, you could check, you know, all of these and then add them to a specific network. Um, which makes organizing things very easy. So for each network, you could click this and it'll uh, open up and view the accounts within the network. You can download the homepage URLs into a text file. Um, so it'll download all the homepage URLs of the accounts within that network. You can download a file that'll have the network accounts in the FCS format, which will be a CSV file and it'll have all your account information. Um, you could edit the name of uh, your network. You could delete um, the network and the accounts. This will permanently delete the network from the system and permanently delete the accounts from the system if you just want to delete the network. So we just added uh, the trading one accounts to trading two. We just want to get rid of that network. We don't want to delete the accounts. So I would click the just delete uh, the network and I don't want to delete the account. So now that'll be gone, but you'll see those accounts are still there. Um, so now this is basically an overview of all your networks. That's what this page is. So when you click on Trading2, now we'll click on Trading2, it it'll open up your network and show you all the accounts that are in that network. Now much like the accounts page that uh, showed you in a previous video, you have a lot of the same options. You could edit the account, you could do it, you could log in, you could remove from network, delete accounts. So it's basically uh, a similar page as the accounts page, but now it's just dealing with this specific network. So this really lets you dig in and edit and uh, do whatever you need to do within that particular network. Now let's say we wanted to add more accounts to this network. We would just click the Add Accounts to Network button. And let's say we wanted to add uh, this, these two sites. But we also wanted to add a site from the Drone Network. So we just load that up. You could also do a search for sites. Um, so now we wanted to add these sites. We choose those three sites. And now these three sites will be added to the network. So if you notice before we had 25 accounts in this network, now we have 28 because we just added three. It's also great, let's say, uh, and now when you load it up, you'll see the accounts in this network are all checked. So you know which accounts are already in this network. You could, uh, we have an unassigned accounts um, option, which will show you all the accounts that aren't assigned to a network. So you could flip through those if you want. Um, so it's just a really easy way to just manage your network. Let's say we wanted to put a bunch of Tumblr accounts in here. We could just search Tumblr. 
And then we just, uh, you know, select a bunch of Tumblr accounts and we could add those to the network. So it's really easy way you can search um, and easily see by the check boxes which accounts are already in your network. Um, and then for the bulk options, you can uh, just bulk delete. So if I wanted to delete these two from the network, I could delete from network or I could delete the accounts permanently. So these network options are just getting a little more specific from the accounts page. The accounts page is more of an overview of all your accounts. Although you can do a lot of the same things, these network pages let you dig in a little more and a little more easily add accounts and remove accounts from your network. That was one last thing I wanted to show you. So, all right, we never added those, but let's uh, load up this category here. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Let's get back to the beginning. All accounts. Okay, so we have uh, that Pump Buddy and News Vine account that we added. Now, let's say we wanted to remove them. We could do it this way as well. We could just choose, and uh, that should remove those from the system. So this is, you could do it by just removing them individually. You could do it by removing them uh, from... The drop down, there's a bunch of different ways to work and manage, uh, all depending on what your preferred workflow is. So, uh, that's basically uh, an overview of the network pages and uh, gives you a good idea on how to properly organize and uh, work within your networks. See you in the next video, guys.